Sorry guys, we totally forgot this video that we wanted to make about the photo editing. We've been so busy this summer, really there were so many different projects that we've been working on. Um, I'll get Christian, we get this done, you send us so many amazing photos, landscapes, portraits, architecture, anything you can think of. We do this video right away and let's jump right into it. I'll get Christian and then let's go. So the first things I did here was to, to make basic color corrections and uh, bring the highlights a bit down, adjusting the blacks and the whites and obviously I, I pushed the shadows quite up since the, the picture is a bit dark and I wanted to see more of the, of the snow border and also a little bit more of the, of the snow on the right hand side and also the trees. So I basically what I wanted is to have this picture brighter. I also pushed the clarity and the vibrance since the colors we already have in these pictures are really great. I just wanted to enhance them even more. Next I opened the crop tool. Since the trees are a little bit tilted to the right, I wanted to have them straight. And also what I was looking for was um, to be a bit closer on the athlete. So then I played with uh, the color correction and the, the color grading tool in Lightroom. Although I didn't really do a lot here since we already had great colors, uh, complementary colors almost. Then I decided to play a little bit around with, with the different filters we have here. Gradation filter as well as uh, radial filters and I used uh, the gradial filter to to enhance the contrast and therefore make the, the sky on the right hand side a little bit darker just that the focus is going to be more on, on the athlete and also therefore I was using the radial filter I, I adjusted it accordingly to, to our athlete here the athlete was quite dark and I wanted to see more of the colors and more of the athlete himself. I also created kind of a vignetting around which enhanced this uh, purpose even more. After that I just grabbed the, the brush tool and brushed over the snowboarder, over his rucksack, his jacket, his trousers, his hat and brought up the shadows that the darks, even, even the exposure a little bit. Finally I did some small enhancement of the sharpness and also made final adjustments on the, on the crop. Yeah, I, I really liked the picture from the beginning. I made my final edits, uh, yeah. Just changing the crop here a little bit. Also the model looks pretty interesting. So I'm bringing the clarity far down here to give it a little bit more of a softer look, maybe a little bit like an oil painting. Also bringing up the darks. Yeah, to keep it really moody. It should be a really moody picture in the end. So I think I have to work a little bit on her eyes that are too dark to me. Using this spot correction tool. You have to be pretty careful with the eyes when you bring them up and make them brighter and give them more saturation. It looks unnatural really fast so just do slight changes here. But I think that's a good amount. Also the lips I'm gonna brighten up a little bit, give them a little bit more of reds and saturation. Yeah, happy with this. Now I'm using this radial tool where you can brighten up a little areas, a big areas in the picture and have a soft corner. Brightening up her face a little more. 
Looks really mysterious to me. I really like this. Next thing that I'm going to fix is her hair. Brightening it up a little bit, give it a little bit of texture. And the picture receives a little bit more depth. But there's one thing in this picture I have a little bit of a problem. First I'm doing a little bit of split toning, blues in the shadows, some warm tones in the highlights. But the arm, the arm in this picture, it's too bright compared to the rest of the picture. I'm darkening it here, but it's hard to fix this problem. Also her veins on her hand are popping out too much for me. I think I would need a little bit more time to correct this in Photoshop. Maybe I'm just darkening the corner of the picture later on to solve this a little bit. But this doesn't really work in my opinion, what I'm doing here. So I'm deleting this again. Mm, I'm trying to give it a face a little bit more, more of contour. Bring up the highlights on her nose maybe and also on her upper lip. They can see this white corners. Mm -hmm. This looks good to me. Yeah, so next thing, working on this corner of the picture, bringing some shadows in and dragging the eye away from it uh, to her face. For this I also use the radial tool again, brightening up this whole area, um, the face and the hair. But this looks already pretty good to me and I think I'm done here. Yeah, looks good. first thing I wanted to do when I saw this picture was to convert it to black and white. The next thing I wanted to do was to play around with the composition. Since we have these awesome curves and lines, I decided on making the building and the line, the upper line of the left building, just leaving the frame in the upper corner and also this great S-shaped curve from the bright building, I wanted to be tilted up and have even more dynamic. After that I want to do, make very basic adjustments on light and exposure, whites, blacks, shadows. What I was really playing around with was the tone curve in this picture. Since we have this already awesome black and white picture, I, I wanted to, to really get crazy with the tone curve and play around. I hardly ever do it like this, that crazy, but Somehow I felt like it. I pushed my cursor to certain points I wanted to have brighter or even darker. Played around quite a bit actually until, until the result was somehow more pleasing to me. And yeah, I finally got a, a picture that, that really looks awesome. Although I have to confess it wasn't that hard to make a great picture out of this already great shot.